Welcome to my talk about um, A-level film studies. I'm Mr. Tai, and uh, I am the subject leader of the course. Um, I hope you enjoy what I have prepared. On the screen in front of you are a number of the comments that some of our students have said about the course since we've been running it. Um, and you'll see that they cover a wide variety of points. Um, uh, and the great thing about film studies is that those who study it do thoroughly enjoy it um, and get a lot of rewarding sort of personal growth out of it as well. So let's look at why. One of the things we need to realise with film is it's not, it's certainly not a case of just sat there watching films and enjoying yourself in that sense. It is a very academically rigorous subject. You have to want to be a better writer. Writing essays is a big part of the subject. Um, and we are very inclusive. So if you're not the strongest essay writer, that's okay. But a, but a determination and a willingness to improve, uh, then the team, the film team, are also experienced English teachers. So we're capable of helping you progress there. It is also a brilliantly interesting subject. Um, hopefully, some of you have watched the taster session on Batman that we did in English. Um, and that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. But it's also a creatively demanding subject. A big part of our subject is 30% um, of your final grade is determined by your creative output, by making a film or a screenplay that, that really showcases your understanding of film and also your own uh, developing filmmaking potential and skill. For me, film is one of the defining art forms of the 21st century. Um, one of the reasons why I love the subject is it's a window into all sorts of different aspects of the human condition, um, culture and race and religion and uh, politics and everything else. But one of the reasons people sort of contemplate the subject um, is, is what purpose, what, what's the point of it? Where can it lead me? Um, what people don't understand is the the film um, industry in this country is enormous and um, we contribute a huge amount to of the GDP to the to the government um, and where there's money there are jobs um, real money um, the jobs that are there are, are really varied and, and widespread um, many of the skills I'll get onto the jobs in a moment but many of the skills that we take from um, English literature that you do at GCSE are embedded in film studies. You you, you have to have that curious, analytical um, sort of mind that wants to deconstruct the parts to, to understand the whole a bit better. Um, and I think so many young people these days are more visually literate than they are um, literate in terms of reading and literature. Um, so becomes quite easy to explore and explain a concept and a, and a term when you, you you've seen examples of it before and it's just connecting it to that word um, in order to kind of get you industry ready in the long run you need to know how to make a short film um, uh, and we look at every part of it from the conception of an idea through to the pre-production and development that you need to go through to the shoot to then sort of the edit and maybe even the re-edit in, in the post-production phrase all of which are important skills if you were to go out into the world of um, making adverts or music videos or short films or films or tv shows or what have you so i was saying why take film studies <clears throat> the qualification in itself is not going to necessarily open a million and one doors to you um uh, because it's like any qualification, you, you have to show an interest and, and have a passion for the subject. But here are just some of the opportunities um, that are out there for you. Um, some of the different jobs. Um, uh, and, and certainly since I've been running this subject in this school, it has blown my mind that the people that I've come across and the incredible, um, incredibly diverse jobs um, that they have within the industry. Um, so if you're looking for something that's a, a little bit different to those traditional routes that many um, of our parents or grandparents have gone down and, and are looking to embrace new technology and uh, new forms of uh, enterprise and 
entrepreneurial sort of now then then these jobs definitely take you into those different areas and what we learn about in film studies is all these different um stages that the the production of a text kind of goes through before being um distribu- distributed and exhibited to a mass audience um it's really important that students explore and understand each of those phases to to get a better insight into why texts um, end up taking the form that they do. So where did that understanding come from? Can, uh, come from? It basically comes from um, developing your awareness of what we call the core elements in film, which is four main areas of mise-en-scene, like everything that's in the frame is in there for a reason, cinematography, looking at camera movement and what camera composition and, and different ideas there, editing, looking at the relationship between images, between spatial and temporal shifts um, in order to kind of create meaning as they cross cut between different ideas um, and sound and how sound is added in to enhance our understanding of um, uh, the visual element that we're experiencing and seeing as well. Um, So by learning all the terminology for each of those areas, we become far more aware of of film as an art form. We learn about the history and the the development of film and cinema through time. So we go right the way back to early documentary form, to, to early silent era film, and really explore how it is the, the, the past very much influences the present. Some of you will look at that image and um, see Hugo, um, the recent, the relatively recent Martin Scorsese film um, and, and how he made that ode to the silent era in that film. We look at marketing strategies and discuss topical issues with the industry, both internationally and within the UK. Um, Because of COVID, we're at a very interesting point where the the streaming companies are are now the giants of the the film and television industry, um, and less so those cinema um, uh, chains um, with people not necessarily going there. So uh, really interesting times looking at how, um, so bringing in business and economics, how companies are going to continue to have a viable plan for the future. We also look at the study of British cinema um, and what makes our own national cinema very different to the the Hollywood idea of Britain um, and um, give a very different flavour and and sort of sense of British identity to to, um, what comes out of Hollywood um, and those major studios. We do look at Hollywood um, and really interesting, we look at some mainstream films and and how they compare with America's more independent films, the smaller budget films um, um, that often have kind of a more powerful and resonating narrative to them than than sometimes those just big tentpole productions that Hollywood sends out. Um, And without independent films and the smaller British films, the talent that comes out of those then feeds directly into Hollywood too. Over the years that we've been running the course here, we've been spoiled with some wonderful guests who've come in to talk about their experiences, their knowledge, their understanding of how the industry works. And that's obviously something that we will continue to do. Um, We've been as film students, um, we've held uh, two Oscars, been around two Oscars, which is something that was quite incredible. We've had experts from Disney, from from local film production company that that once upon a time did media studies at Kesgrave and now runs a successful local production. Um, so what's blown my mind is the the array of talent and willingness to open up to students their expertise um, within this area. Um, so it can often feel like the film industry is a million miles away from Suffolk, but there is a lot of uh, industry expertise in in this area. And the main reason for exploring all of that is is to uh, demystify the industry. Um, There really is a potential career for you out there if you're interested enough to follow that ambition. So just to recap, um, 
I believe, and certainly the students have always fed back that it's a, an exciting and challenging sort of subject. It is academically rigorous in terms of both the content, uh, what we have to get through and, and the time we have to get through it, but also how it's assessed. Um, you have a very passionate, experienced, knowledgeable staff, um, both academically, but also uh, many of which have, have experienced um, within the industry itself. Uh, it's the opportunity to really broaden your understanding of film in terms of business and economics as well. So I just put this last slide on there because I think it's interesting. Um, you know, film studies, what lots of people say to you is, you know, why do it? Don't you just sit and watch films all the time? Um, and that's maybe what your friends or your parents or society thinks. But uh it, it really is much more, you know, you develop a real love and passion uh, for a subject. Um, and when anything happens like that, then there's also a lot of hard work that goes into it too. So you're faced with a simple choice, really. Um, I would hope that you see film as uh, an innovative and exciting subject that could take your life in a very different direction to perhaps tried and tested routes um, and because if there are then there are more traditional subjects that you could pick either way all of your choices are exciting and interesting and I don't envy you having to make these choices but when I took a level film many years ago um, I have never lived to regret it yet.